What is on the review? Seth. Seth? Let's go. Hey, hey, people. Hey, hey. Seth here. If I hey, hey, a different, it's because it's because you're having a psychotic episode. What? I sound exactly the same. It's the parasites eating at your brain, which say other. Do you have a parasite eating in your brain, chat? Say yes if you have a parasite in your brain right now. Otherwise, gaslighting? Gaslighting isn't uh -oh. real. You're just crazy. <laughs> Bro, start with the gaslighting already? Hmm, it's not real. I'm... Easy. Now, take it's not your real. medication. Yeah, Last it's not year, real. What did you want to be when you grew up? If you answered, I wanted to be trapped in a steel sweaty I want to be a monkey. With three other men, then, oh boy, I got just the game for you. World I've seen this art before. Do you want to be trapped in a metal container with three other men? I have seen this art before. It's beautiful. It looks like a Jojo art or something. Why do I feel like it's like a fashion magazine kind of art? Hmm. Got killed by a truck and got reincarnated as a dragon ball with balls like Coco. <laughs> uh, are you saying you don't have a parasite in your brain, bruh? No, no way. I've seen this art before. I don't know where, but I this is not the first time I've seen this beautiful man before you world of t war funder war funder is an experience that war i have funder. subjected myself to for the war better part of a decade and much like an abusive stepfather let's just say Wait. a little bit of war funder uh me collects this game right war thunder i was tracking my brains like we were talking about war thunder the other day because we were talking with mika and, and he likes this game because he he likes being a pilot and the only thing I remember from that podcast is the F-16. F-16... Uh, jet? Airplane? I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a plane? <laughs> anyway, why is under? Yes. Will always be with me whether I like it or not. And yes. now, like court-ordered alimony, after years of parental neglect, they're giving me money. In exchange, oh. I use foundation to cover the Let's bruises go. and money. burns on my skin. And I tell everyone I know that, yeah, the, the dents on my head, yeah, I was born with those. War Thunder is an online military... The dents on his head, I, he's born, born with them. Isn't it because you wear headphones all the time, that's why you have dents on your head? Have you seen that in... Have you seen that? Like there, there's people. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> they have dents on their head caused by the headphones. <laughs> it's real. Are you wearing headphones right now? You're gonna have a dent on your head. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is why I stopped wearing headphones because the dent on my head is getting bigger. Hmm military vehicle combat game which is completely free on pc xbox series x and playstation 5 no purchase necessary just download and play and it's fully cross-platform which means if you're playing the cross-platform platform, you get to die yeah. on console babies all day register today console using my babies to oh shit this is important because you're gonna spend it on a premium japanese plane so you can dominate rank one i'm speaking from personal experience because that's exactly what i did okay i'll tell you the real reason I mean, I remember Mika did say that if you play as the as the pilots, if you use the planes, they usually win. They usually dominate while thunder. Your dent already a full blown docking station. Wow, man! My head looks like the letter U from the side. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Statistically, if I have a worm in my brain and you don't, both of us have half a worm. Oh, no. There's no half worm in my brain. And I'm doing this. They had to give me a press account, which means I get every vehicle for free temporarily, Ooh. which is why I have to keep lying to their face regarding the status of this video. I don't care about the cash. This shit's worth more than anything they could ever pay me. What you have to understand about this sponsorship <laughs> He cares about the planes. This not is about a the money situation because if oh. you do not accept what i submit it's a hostage I'm situation. going to submit it anyway and oh. i'll make it worse <laughs> that was a joke <laughs> Look, i'll do anything 
I'll say anything. Just please let me keep the press account. Corporate blackmail. <laughs> he just wants to knock out. <laughs> I actually really like this game. To understand exactly how long I've played this garbage, I was here when it was just air combat, and even that was pretty sick. Later on, they expanded to tanks. More what recently, the they... fuck was that? Code 45. Oh, we have this bear here. That's big brain. Code 45, it's alright. It's not that bad. Although, to be fair, I remember... I don't remember what it tastes like. It's not really a good beer, but it's not bad when you're already drunk. Anyway... Yes. More recently, they do naval combat as well. Basically, you get the choice between two ships. One is a several thousand ton Japanese destroyer. The other Ooh, is destroyer. a yacht. Sometimes, someone will pick the yacht. A yacht. I shoot them, and they die. To this day, I have no idea why this is an option. Naturally, why do you want to be a yacht? Different game modes calls for a seamless and intuitive control scheme. Ooh. And if you're looking for that, you can a nice right keyboard. and play a different game. Firing an all-aspect infrared missile is three different keybinds. Fair enough. The key to dodge the aforementioned missile with countermeasures unbound by default. Also, oh. fair enough, but having a dedicated button on my keyboard by default to eject my spent missile <laughs> casings so my plane can truly reach its full speed of one kilometer faster than before, that's where I draw the line. This isn't critique, it is praise. It subverts expectations it is praise. and keeps you on your toes. Mm. I'm still waiting for the patch that rebinds oh my my God. to an uh, authorized direct debit transfer to Gaijin. Sixty-nine ninety-nine to be sent to Gaijin Entertainment Limited. <laughs> just click and you'll just send the money. Hell yeah. They let you do custom stickers, huh? Mm hmm when the ugly girl you're drinking with turns pretty, you know it's good beer. What do you mean, ugly girl? She's always been pretty. What do you mean, girl? Stuff. Oh, no. Give me the other half. No, no, no. Grinding for the vehicles can be daunting. Hmm. Oh, so the vehicles, you can just get them for free. But also you can just pay with the real money to get them, huh? In entertainment. I think when that finally happens, gaming will truly peak as a medium. The general idea is pretty simple. Every vehicle in this game is an accurate, one-to-one -one historical reconstruction of a real thing. Unless it comes from the Soviets, in which case you read whatever oh. number they give you, divide that That's by high technology right there. Somewhere close to the truth. And people take this shit uh, very seriously. Some time ago, we had a fiasco with Gaijin releasing a modern tank, and uh, some guy on the forum said, uh, actually, that's not accurate. Actually. Everybody said, prove it, and he did. By leaking confidential military <laughs> Oh shit! So <laughs> oh, this is what the uh, people were talking about earlier. Because they want to win uh, an argument. Post classified military documents to try to convince the dev to make a virtual tank more realistic. Ah! He wants to convince the development team to make it more realistic. Ah! I mean. That's a noble cause, right? <laughs> You will sacrifice everything for a noble cause. Just make the game more realistic, and they will provide all the documents necessary. Sheesh! All those free-to-play vehicle games always seem to be pay to win. Mm. <laughs> Somewhere out there, someone is getting court-martialed because of War Thunder, and all this <laughs> Just oh my God. so you can have an accurate damage model. I love this community. There's damage no model. health bars. This game operates on simulation. There is no such thing no as bars. the vehicle. The vehicle is a sum of its parts and the crew. You blow out the engine, it can't move. You pop the fuel, it starts burning. You snap off the elevator, and it won't stay in the air for long. You shoot the ammunition rack, it explodes, cooking Ooh. everyone inside. Oh, you hit the no. armor at an angle, it ricochets right off. You get the oh. idea. Either you blow it up it's or real. you the crew, whichever comes first. If you die in a tank, you get a dramatic kill cam reconstruction Ooh, of whatever kill killed you. This might seem like eye candy or an opportunity to learn, but in reality, it's an excuse to complain in all chat that the shot was bullshit and that Gaijin is a trash developer with a clear Russian bias. Repeat this off.
Boston, and I assure you the community will quickly accept you as one of their own. To play, you have to pick between Alliance or Horde. Choose your subclass. In this case, Italian Alliance and, and Horde. Game. Italians are effective against the Swedish, but get defeated by the Chinese who win in every exchange, only losing Ooh. to their natural predator. Escalators. That was oh, a no. complete lie. Let's continue. Much like on Earth, they don't have natural races, predators. And you get to follow their historical military vehicle development across time. You start with the earliest tin cans and biplanes from World War II and work your way up to modern times by researching and unlocking new vehicles from their respective tech tree. In combat, you get matched with similar vehicles. There's a tank called Ferdinand. It's called Ferdinand. <laughs> Elephant. That's a strangely human name to call a tank. Dad used to play this all the time. Mm. Would you agree that cats are the fluffiest when they are in hurting playing mode? Yeah, when they're freaked out, they become really fluffy. My first cat would bring me a gift, usually still alive, but I do miss him. Yeah, my cats also do that. They, they bring their gifts to the bedroom, straight to the bedroom. Sometimes it's not a full gift. Sometimes it's half a gift. Ah, and then I don't find it usually right away. I wake up, turn over the pillow, and there's half a lizard under there. It's a gift. New vehicles from their respective tech tree. In combat, you get matched with similar vehicles according to their battle rating. Pro tip, if you queue into a game with an 11.0 jet fighter and a bunch of 1.0 pea shooters, you will be matched with other supersonic jet fighters. And if you actually dare to spawn in as one of your shitty little Wright Brother origami paper planes, you will have a very short but very memorable experience. Luckily, air combat doesn't require a flight stick. I can pilot just fine with a mouse, and I've never used anything else. There's three different modes, arcade, realistic, and simulation. What's the difference? Arcade is realistic, but you can lead your shots with a crosshair. It's exactly the same with tank combat, except your crosshair changes color depending on your predicted penetration. Ooh, now, to penetration. Paint a what realistic is like, once I flew for five minutes straight, fired my cannon at the enemy, and it jammed. Now the oh, only way to unjam it is to manually land your plane on a friendly airstrip. So I flew back to the airfield. The match was over before I even deployed my landing <laughs> gear. And simulation oh, no. is just me crashing the same plane repeatedly. Sometimes I actually managed to take off before crashing back down again. You probably guessed it by now, but realistic and simulation is for certain kinds of people. Mm -hmm, people who mm -hmm. believe that flying is real, which... <laughs> By Flying the way, is real, guys. There's no such thing. You're telling me that oh. um, if you drive this car it's fast real. enough, it's gonna go up in the air and soar like a bird. Okay, yeah, sure thing, buddy. They it's real, dude. They put a scrolling wallpaper and rock the cabin <laughs> and have you pretend you just scrolling moved across wallpaper. the world. Here's an idea. Oh, Next no. time you're in the middle of your it's flight, real. try to stand up and leave. Tell the flight attendant that uh, you're pretty happy where you are and you would just like to get off. So um, if you don't mind... Please stop the plane and let me get out. You'll oh no! Them start to visibly shake, sweat, and foam at the mouth at the suggestion, oh, no. giving you uh, all manner of excuses as to why that's not possible. So no, it doesn't really matter if you play arcade or realistic, as the very concept of flight itself Flying is not real. But if you're looking for a completely authentic experience, it's out there. It's slower, meticulous, and a lot more calculated, but there's nothing quite like it. When you finally get in the air and you're like, oh yeah, so um, how do I see things? You click every key, none of them work, oh. and then you realize, oh, I have to manually move my neck just like a real thing. <laughs> if you're watching this and manually move your neck, oh, is it? right now and correct your posture before it's too late. Before they no. find your fossilized cadaver and conclude. This is me for real. This is what I always look like in front of the computer. Yes. <laughs> This was no human. This was a troglodyte. On the other hand, if you actually what? want a troglodyte? What is that? Troglodyte. Oh, it's like a lizard. I don't know this game. On the other hand, if you actually want to have um, 
fun, play arcade. I do. So <laughs> Everyone have fun. Of the people who play this game. <laughs> War Thunder is much like chess. Everybody says they play it. Everybody knows how to play it. But nobody actually does it in public. Because if you do, people will find out that actually you have no idea what you're doing. Oh, Sometimes no. I do great. Sometimes I don't. But I clip those parts out because it's my video. You don't play so it in do the public. Game? What do I do in this game? Well, I queue up and then I ignore every objective and tunnel vision my way to getting as many sick frags <laughs> as Ignore possible. all Sometimes objectives. I like to fool the enemy by playing like shit. They expect oh. me to try. But instead, I die to my own poor decision making. Nothing oh, matters no. except hitting first place on the scoreboard. Did we lose? It's all about the scoreboard. Problem? I ten kills. I, uh, oh, made yeah. a discovery while recording this footage. Playing this game on public Wi-Fi is wild. I can reliably oh. make my ping go to 999, uh, which makes for the oh. most entertaining kind of footage. Also, I assure you, you will never have a dogfight as intense as this. When your latency is so high, it's measured in minutes. Uh, space and time have warped. <laughs> they have lost all meaning. Every player oh, no. target will zip to another position. Oh, Everyone shit. Is a stand user That's amazing. Yourself. Shoot a plane? You miss. Shoot the open air, you get a kill. I check the scoreboard, and it's for a player who hasn't even spawned. Full disclosure, prior to this video, I never spent a cent on this game. I just stay in the low tiers. Everybody else can have their rat race. All I need is my shitty Battle Rank 1 Swedish Reserve plane. Because, for some reason, it comes with four goddamn turrets. And I shred. Turret. Do I want to go up in rank? Do I want to grind up all the modifications? Hell no. Battle Rank 1, baby. I live here. I'm here to tell you, don't go for the carrot on a stick. Don't feel like there's an obligation to do or to grind or to buy anything. I assure you, if you let it, this game will absolutely consume you. Don't let that happen, because if you do, mm -hmm. you're going to burn out, and you're not going to have any fun. Listen, I got infinite resources right now. I've been to high BR for both ground and air battles, and I gotta say, holy shit, it's incredibly fun. But it's a completely different <laughs> game. I had to bind, like, five new keys just to do this. Yeah, I love high-end playing <laughs> combat, but eventually... <laughs> the key binds, oh my god. I feel like he's the only one who talks about the key vines in a sponsored video. Because most of the time when uh, um, a video is sponsored by War Thunder and the like, they don't talk about these uh, key vines. How do you uh, fly a plane? I guess you don't expect to fly a plane with Wasdy. Just Wasdy. I do remember Mika saying that there's so much buttons just to start the plane. Hmm. Oh, I forgot most of the stuff he said. <laughs> Seems complicated. The lag. My nervous system can't keep up. Flying at speeds exceeding Mach 1 for prolonged periods of time uh, makes you go insane. And I find myself uh, returning to low rank just to decompress. Aww. Anyway, the point is, there's nothing you can buy to make you good at the game. Wait! You get something... Do you have teammates in this game? Is this a... 5v5 5B, 5B situation or is it like a battle rail? Hmm. Actually, don't know. I guess you have teammates, right? Are they real people? Can fly planes and call me surely. How do you fly a plane with extreme difficulty? <laughs> yes. That's about sums it up. Better, so does everybody else. Except now you're dealing with more competent veteran players that understand the game inside and out. And that's really the defining characteristic between players. Knowledge. My plane's not knowledge. It's all about strong, knowledge. But it's built for turning. I understand the concept of trading potential energy for kinetic energy, and in an extended dogfight, I'll just wear down the enemy. Also, no, T-34s are not incredibly powerful. It's just that you're very likely to hit them at a slight tilt from the front. Unknowingly, shooting shells at effectively twice the normal length of plating, complaining that it doesn't penetrate, getting frustrated at the game, and going to the forums to ask Gaijin exactly how long they plan to spend before they make a good game. Pro tip, oh, no. you can't outsmart physics, but you can learn the design of each tank, and that makes all the difference. I'm not shooting blindly. I'm aiming for the tank underskirt, the viewing port, and the stockings. Don't laugh. These are technical terms. I memorize the what? rotation of- The stockings? Tank. And that makes all the difference. I'm not shooting blindly. I'm aiming for the tank underskirt, the viewing port. Underskirt the viewing port. In the stockings. In the stockings. 
Is he? Is the stockings? Is he skirt? Probably. Don't laugh. These are the scope and battle royale. Ah. Technical terms. I memorize the location of ammunition racks for every tank in my battle rating ammunition. so I can blow them directly. Obviously, that's complete bullshit and I just get lucky, but I like to think otherwise. This game is easy <laughs> to pick up, but it takes years to properly develop Stockholm Syndrome. War Thunder is a Stockholm great meditative Syndrome. game because nothing really goes to. <laughs> it takes years to develop Stockholm Syndrome. Oh no! Why are you playing this game? Also, if you're playing this on company time, it is a perfect game for siphoning company time. Because mm, by the time you play it on company time, line, yes. It can easily take a minute. In that time, you can answer an email, open up some ransomware, drink a little coffee as it infects your data center, and just get back to goofing off all for an hourly wage. If you mm -hmm. frequently have to leave your desk for more than five minutes, uh, play a bomber and uh, just keep climbing while AFK. You will single handedly win the match, and you don't even have to be there. One feature that climb. unfortunately has been scrapped is the ability to commit friendly fire. Back in the day, oh. it was really funny because people would spawn in friendly and scream fire. PL, PL in team chat. And once I remember a guy replied with, oh, uh, I'm not Polish. I'm from the UK, to which they all responded by driving up to his engine block, shooting it, and driving away. I love oh, this community. No. It's as they say, a truly tolerant society should not tolerate the British. Honestly, oh, I'm really no. glad we're past those times. Because, personally, at the start of a match, I not enjoy friend, if I know. having That's not realistic. in air combat. This can still happen, but more often than not, it's completely unintentional. And, uh, I'm really sorry. You might ask yourself, Seth, in an open sky that's relatively empty of planes, how do you manage to collide with one from your own team? Yeah, Tonight, how do you I do answer, that? Play War Thunder for free today. I am no longer <laughs> asking. I have your family at gunpoint. I'm no if longer you don't asking. Like family, oh, I no. don't, but I could. And all you have to do is download the game and start playing immediately. Sign up using my link today and you get a premium vehicle. War and Thunder, guys. Things. And it's completely free. So what do you have to lose? Except the Play War Thunder, guys. limited time you have on this earth. Quickly passing through your fingers. Which could be better spent doing something more meaningful if you actually respected yourself enough to do that. Hey, let me tell you how I got here. Ooh, I still doggy. remember the exact moment I broke. It was when what I the saw fuck a... Was that? Let me tell you how I got here. I still remember... This horse ate 2,000 doses of life-saving malaria vaccines that were being shipped to Senegal and then died immediately. Oh no, horse, eh? Why did you eat those? I remember the exact moment I broke. It was when I saw a particular gif of uh, she hulk attorney at law oh that's when i broke look that's at that said, pork. fuck it i'm done nothing matters i'm selling out and i took out every contract that's when i said fuck it i'm done nothing matters i'm selling huh huh <laughs> okay out and I took out every contract at the same time. Now, in retrospect, I was probably just a little bit impulsive. Withdrawal can do that to you. I know I said it for the balloons video, but right now I'm finally true. What are they doing with attacks? Ritalin is a vampire, oh, no. and it's gonna suck your will to live. It's gonna try and remind you every day you're it's nothing Michael, without so? it. And believe me, not a single day has passed. But oh, they're hugging, the ducks are hugging. Going back. But after so long, I finally realized I'm not sick. I was never sick. I just live in a sick society where yeah, it's a society. We live in a society. Raw productive output they can spit out before being chewed up by not the geese, true. irrespective of their own. We are not sick. That society is sick. Spirit. Fuck being valuable. It's not for me. It's never been for me. It's for sustaining some misery machine. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I never read the fine print of my birth, but I never signed up for this. Look, I, I don't care about the sponsorship anymore. My current highest priority inside my scattered hunter-gatherer <laughs> brain is to somehow uh... stitch everything together into a coherent ending. In truth, I really do like this game. But you know what I like even more? Getting paid to do so. <laughs> In all seriousness, if you have some situational oh awareness God, this and guy. actually help your team, you're going to have a great time. Repairing, mm -hmm, covering, mm -hmm. supporting, and towing your teammates away to safety makes a huge difference. Because oh, you can tow your teammates. I didn't know that. 
shoots them. That oh, means they're not going to shoot you. Just like a doctor only treats the sick so he can beat the ever-living shit out of them himself. <laughs> we help our team oh, so they no. can help us rise to the top of the scoreboard. Just also, like a there's doctor. custom skins. Your life is now slightly richer from this knowledge. In exchange, can somebody please tell me if there's some way to turn off Discord notifications? Shuffed, because shuffed. Right now, I am having difficulties <laughs> recording this footage. It oh, says in no. this briefing, I'm supposed to talk about what I enjoy most about this game. What I enjoy most is hearing this. Oh. It's beautiful. Each time I hear it, I know that something and someone out there in the open sky has been turned into human paste. I love it. Anyway, the video is ending, so uh, please join me in prayer. Lord in heaven, please mm -hmm. grant everyone online a present father figure in their lives so they can stop writing they oh, cringe shit. ass comments and making <laughs> they cringe ass react <laughs> videos. You. Unless you're a Mongol, what you do get you a mean? Cringe I react videos. Hey. I'm not cringe. I just like reacting. Hmm. At the same holiday resort. Good times. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Sorry for how slow it's been. Uh, it gets worse before it gets better. I know everybody adores those motivating tales of breaking addiction. And uh, saying that I quit, relapsed, and quit again doesn't really sound that great, <laughs> but it's reality. And reality is, most people uh, don't break their addictions. It's nice to hope for the best, but not just everyone accepts gets a happy addiction. Ending. And uh, I'm not talking about myself. I'll be fine. Everybody hooked on Xanax? Yeah. <laughs> Lamau, lol even. Uh, my sister condolences. You are screwed. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. Across my multiple manic bipolar bad bitch breakdowns, you're mm -hmm. all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Oh, POV. Oh, ASMR. ASMR plane noises. Ooh, what those? Uh, what are those numbers? I don't know. I bet there's like ten hour compilation of just these noises, you know. So you could sleep peacefully at night. Oh my god, it's beautiful! It's very loud though. Oh! The music! Oh, that's beautiful. This is a react stream, everyone. <laughs> this is why we're here. For the brrrm, for the noom, and the brrrm. Sleep warfully. <laughs> oh my god, it's so loud. It's not over yet. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I don't know if this music is copyright free, but if it is, uh, well, it, this is gonna be muted later. <laughs>
That one's pretty cool though. Good music? Hmm. Play War Thunder. <laughs> this is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.